let us solve the next question which is, which is similar to the previous one but a little bit of modification is there the question says there are three charges q 2q and minus 3q as that of the first one are placed at the vertices of an equilateral triangle abc of side a nothing is changed till this one now the next change is find the work done to shift the charges to the midpoints of the triangles x y z triangle 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 okay midpoints of triangle bracket me x y z so x y z are the midpoints of triangle okay so first case was this okay a b and c and the side is a a and k now there at a charge was q at b charge was t q 2 q and at c there was minus 3 q charge now question says what is the work done to move these charges to the midpoint of this triangle x y z okay now what you do is you are moving this charge from a to x okay and you are moving from this b to say y and from c to z okay so you are moving the charge from a to x and from a to y and from c to z where when you move this charge you have to do the work like this and how much will be that work you have to calculate so before that what are the things that we can uh, see here if this is midpoint x if this is midpoint x and okay then this a b is my a then how much will be this length this will become a by 2 half is a by 2 and if you see this one both are equal isn't it this and this are equal it means that this is also a by 2 so y z is a by 2 x z is also a by 2 and x y is also a by 2 because i am moving all the charges to the midpoints then this will be half if it is if whole distance is a then half distance will be a by 2 so this is the new configuration now how to find first you have to calculate the potential energy because potential energy is always equal to work done and work done can be converted into potential energy and potential energy is converted into work done so you have to write work done is equal to potential energy now how much is the work done then how to calculate this kind of question okay and to calculate this kind of question we have to see this so first you calculate the potential energy of three charge system for a b c okay for you have to calculate the potential energy of a b and c next you calculate the potential energy of x y z okay and you subtract the smaller potential energy from larger potential energy so first you calculate u a b c that is potential energy of a b c and potential energy of x y z which one is bigger a b c is bigger and x y z is smaller so you subtract the smaller potential energy from the larger potential energy you will get the answer okay so i will find u a b c so you know u is equal to formula ke anusar it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r1 plus q2 q3 by r2 plus q3 q1 by r3 this is the formula that we have done so well, then after this what will become this q1 you put the value of q1 as q q2 as 2q and q3 as minus 3q and whenever you solve the potential energy you have to put the sign of charges now whenever you solve and what will be the r1 distance from a to b that is a and what is r2 distance between b and c that is again a and what is r3 it is distance from c to a that is also a so all this will become a a a a which we have solved whenever you solve this you will get minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught this will become 7 q 
2 is square by a which we have already solved in the previous question. So this is my this is equal to modulo u a b c. Okay. So next I will write u a b c is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi f to the not 7 cube square by a. We will get this one. Now I have to find what u x y z. So u x y z is equal to how much? It will become 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Same formula, okay? How much is q1? q1 is, again, if you bring it here at x, this q is not changing. It will become q into this will become 2q divided by r1. What will be the r1? It will become a by 2, okay? Then plus, what is q2? This is 2q into minus 3q because this is minus 3 okay divided by again a by 2 okay then again plus q3 is this one so minus 3q into q divided by a by 2 because all this distance now new distance is a by 2 so if you are not understanding these things, please go to the first lecture, okay? Previous uh, numerical problem, because I am leaving some steps here. Then it will become minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught group, uh, 14 q squared by a. So we got u x y z, you got u a b c d, a b c. Then if you put it here, how much you get? How much you get? So value of u a b c is equal to how much? This is minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 7 q is square by a, right? Then this will be minus and here is minus this minus this, this minus and u x y z has also got 1 minus. So this minus and this minus will become plus. Then this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 14 q square by a okay now whenever you solve this the walk done will be equal to this walk done is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 7 q square by a joule so this is your answer